This is lesson 82 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson, accessing objects properties with variables. Another use of bracket notation on objects is to use a variable to access a property. This can be very useful for iterating through list of the object properties or for doing the lookup. Here's an example of using a variable to access a property. So they have variable some prop, which is assigned prop name, the string value of prop name. Then they create this object, which has a property prop name, which has the value some value. Down here, they use bracket notation and they do my obj and then inside of the bracket they put the name of the variable which contains prop name which is the property inside of my object which has some value so this works also here's one more so they have variable my dog has the string hunter then they have an object dogs which has these properties one of the properties is Fido which has Mutt Hunter which is Doberman Snoopy which is Beagle so down here they have a variable breed and they assign to it dogs my dog so my dog is this variable we created which contains hunter which in turn when we go to dogs object and we put in bracket notations the name of our variable my dog which contains hunter will select hunter and return the value doberman so if we console.log breed which is this variable that we made which contains the value of my dog which is hunter property which is doberman so that's what it would console log to the screen doberman note that we do not use quotes around the variable name when using it to access the property because we are using the value of the variable not the name instructions Use the player number variable to look up player 16 in test obj using bracket notation. So they have this object which has these properties 12, 16, 19 with the respective values 12 na Namath, 16 Montana, 19 Unitas. So they want. Let me get this so we can read it. It says use the player number variable, which is here, to look up player 16. So we want to look up player 16, which is Montana. The value is Montana. So all we have to do is assign to player number. As long as we assign it, the number 16. Then when we use var player, which is a uh, use a player number variable to look at player 16 in test object using bra bracket notation. So then we have player. So our variable player has test object, which we wanted to select player number which is this which has the number 16 so it's going to go to test object property 16 and return Montana so the variable player should be a string 
It is because Montana is a string. The value of player should be Montana, and it is. You should use bracket notation to access test object. So we did use bracket notation to access test object. You should be using the variable player number in your bracket notation. And we use player number in our bracket notation. So that should satisfy this challenge.